tell you about being in the right place at the right time. Amen. 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 And, and we know we're, we're talking about what did you do with God? But being in the right place at the right time. Would you go with me to We got three passages I'm going to look through, but we know Romans 8, but we want to drop down from Romans 8 and 28, we want to drop down to 31, Romans 8, begin at verse 31, we want to read down to 34, I'm going to let you know, well, and then we want to Would you stand and let's read that together. Romans 8, beginning at verse 31. I didn't say at that time, I hope I said it right this time. Begin at verse 31, Romans 8, beginning at verse 31 through 34. Amen. Let's read. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifies. Who is he that condemns? It is Christ that died, yea, rather, that is written again, who is even at the right hand of God who also make intercession for us. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. For the people of God. The right place. At the right time. You wonder, I, I, as we come into this one, and wondering how good God has been to us, and it tells us now, then who, then, then it says, and I might have should have went back to, then it says, and thirty says, pick it back up, thirty says, and those who he predestined, he also called. Those he called, he also justified. Those who justified, he glorified. Mm -hmm. Then thirty-one this is NIV, it says, what then shall we say in response to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? That's good to you, church. Because I often go back and have to talk about my grandmother because my grandmother used to tell us, better get Jesus, better get Jesus. And we look at the, all the things of the situation of the world today and we find out that, that Jesus seems to be missing. Mm -hmm. all, all the news and, and all the things that's going on and, and the world seems to be missing. Amen. But, but if we're in God, we're in the right place. Amen. We, if, if, we have, if we have accepted Jesus as, as the part of our sin, it does say that's not right. Yeah. If God is for us, who can be against us? So, so in other words, and, and the thing about it is, we, we have to know that God's for us because what we have to be, we have to be born again. And when we're born again, God says that he's for us. Mm -hmm. I look at you, you say, you don't believe that, but, but can, I, can I prove it? Can I prove it? Can I prove it? You know, can, let me, let me, can I, then I'll come back because as I, if, if you look at Psalms 73, and you'll find, uh, Psalm 73, you'll find that David said that, that he, was, he was in, but 73 and 2, it says now, and David said to him, when he was talking in, in Psalm 73 and 2 and 3, it says now, but for me, my foot, and I begin, but for me, my foot had almost slipped. I had nearly lost my foothold. 
I, in other words, we look at it, and I don't know about you, sometimes we tell them they're not getting envious of things going on. That, that you know, you look at the, you look at the thing that, that, that's happening and how people are all acting all crazy, but it says now, for I was envious of the arrogant when I saw the prosperity of the weak. And then David got down and said, and, 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 and I think you've heard this before, but, but he got into 73 and 17. It said, until I entered the sanctuary of God, you know, and entered the sanctuary of God, then I understood their, what's that word, destiny? Very good. And the idea says, found of destiny. Mm -hmm. In other words, he understand now, when I got and I look what God had done, and, and see, I see all the things that's happening. Because it looks that way, like like it, like the, everything is going against the church, and everything are going against God's people. But we find out, but that's not true, because God said, "Now, if I, if I'm for you, I'm more than the world against you." And, and so we we have to figure, keep in mind that if we're in God, we're in the right place. If, if we have accepted God, God promised us that he'll take care of us. Amen. Yeah, yeah. L listen, it, it goes on. It says now, who he called, he also predestined. And, and then it gets to 32. It says now, who he, no, then it says 32. He did not spare his own son. In other words, God sent his son. Easter's coming up, right? I haven't looked on the program. Sister Burden and Sister Cole are, are, are worship leaders. But they're, they're, but they're, what, they, they, but they're actually getting the kids ready to celebrate Easter. Amen. And you all know what Easter means, right? Mm -hmm. Easter means that, 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 that he got up, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. it, the Easter means that, that, that Jesus died. On, and they tell you that Jesus died. And he got up. He, he got up on Easter morning. That, that's why that Paul could write this to the, to, the, to the Romans to let them know that if you're in the right place and you're in God, you're in the right place. And God made up some promises because it was in the right place. Mercy, have mercy. Okay, let me let me let me see here for one. It says, and, and pick it up on two again. Say now, he did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all. How he will not also alone him gracious give us give us all things. In other words, he said now, if he gave his son. We don't have to worry about the other stuff. Mm -hmm. you know, he, he gave Jesus as Lord. Now, so if, if, if you, well, can I try this one? If, if I can give you, if I, if I can give Edmund, let me just Edmund back there now. If I can give Edmund a $200 bill, a two two hundred dollar bill. I say two hundred. Since they don't make two dollars, they tough. Do they? Do they make two dollars? No, I know they don't. That's what. But if I give him two two hundred dollars, don't come up here when we get get out of service. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm using you as an example, so come up here looking for your two hundred dollar bill. But I'm not. <laughs> but, but listen, surely if I could give him two hundred, it wouldn't be a problem for me giving him twenty, would it? Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Right. That's right. Yeah. So, so, but now, so it said, now, God gave his son, you know, he, he, his only son. So surely the little stuff that we're looking at shouldn't be a problem for God to give us. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, so, so we're looking at it like, so we'll, we'll get frustrated and we, and we'll wonder what's going on, but God has given his best. He gave us, he gave us his son. That, that we can have eternal life, so he's given us all. And, 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 and you know, the good thing about that is now, but he did now, if it had been me, I would have stayed in heaven and, 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 and looked down and said, all right, you good, you good, you good. But what did he do? He came to earth. Came to earth and died for us. And, and not only that, but you know what he did before he died? He went through, and every temptation, and you'll see a little bit further down, every temptation that we have come up against, God has already overcome. Any, anything that we get, anything that happens to us, that, 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 that happens, and we know, we, we know this by Job, right? Remember, remember, remember uh, the devil had a conversation with God? Mm -hmm. God asked the devil, where was he going? Yes, 
He said, I'm going to and for him, up and down, trying to find somebody that he can do what? Destroy. Yeah. And he said, then God, then God did say, no. God asked, say, have you considered my servant Job? Mm -hmm. and, and God, what was God answering? Speak it up a little louder. Well, let me tell y'all, y'all, let me speak up fast enough. God, God, Job had to, act, I mean, devil had to ask God for permission to mess with Job. Yes, sir. No, he, he couldn't just come up and, and start, a, and that's the thing about us. God, the devil just can't come up and start attacking us. He has to go through God before he can attack us. So and, and if you're in the right place, that means you're in God. Because you're in God, God, Satan has to ask but Add permission to take care of it to bother you. Yes. So whatever you know, and whatever you're going through, God has got it already figured out. He already, he already, and that's the good thing about God. God, when God see you in it, He know out. He knows the outcome. Yes. He knew He was gonna give Job more for his trouble yes. when, when He wouldn't let him go through. Because what, 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 but the thing about it is, Job had to be in the right place. Yeah. What, what do you mean the right place? I'm a mindset. You know, think sometimes we go through things. We wonder what's going on, but we got to have the right mindset. But because the right mindset will keep us looking to the hills with coming by help, and our help comes from yeah, my help comes from the Lord, and and because he he's good that way, and because he he's he's taking care of us. Listen, listen. it says. Go a little further in this one. It says now, 33, it says, who will, being, who will bring charges against us, those who God chose? It is God who justified. Who, did, who then is the one who condemned? No, no one. Christ Jesus died more than that who was no more than that. In other words, not only did he die, what else did he do? He was raised. He was raised. He died, but God got him up. And because God got him up, what did he, you know, once he got him up, and he, he stayed down here about 50 days, he went back to heaven. And he's sitting at the right hand of the Father. You, you remember the priest, right? He could only go in the temple one day, one, one time a year. Jesus, we can go to him. Anytime, day, night, morning time, evening time, we can go because he came so that we could be in the right place. All right, let me get into Hebrew and then I'm going to get ready to get out of here. It says, Hebrew 4 and 14. It says, therefore, Hebrew 4 and 14, Hebrew 4 and 14 begins, it says, therefore, since we have a great high priest, just mm -hmm. yes, remember the high. Now, the high priest, you, we do know the high priest was the only one could go in the most holy of holies, right? right. We talked about the temple. Mm -hmm. So, so he said that the high priest. We have we have a high priest. It's, look at that. It's a, a high priest who has ascended into heaven. Mm -hmm. What's his name? Jesus. Jesus. Okay. And, 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 you know, Jesus, the Son of God, yeah, let us hold firmly, you know, what am I hold firmly to? Faith. 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 That's, that's what Satan wants. He, 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 he wants to take your faith. So he said, let us hold firmly, profess, professing our faith. Mm -hmm. For we have a high priest who is a, unable, who is unable to emphasize with our weakness. But we have one who has been tempted mm -hmm. in every way, just as we are, yet did not sing. Mm -hmm. Then it tells me, I said, now, let us then approach God throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy, find grace mm -hmm. to help us 
in our time of need. Let us know that God has put everything in place. He has put his word that we'll know how to be in the right place. The Hebrew writer lets us know that we have a savior that's able to do anything except fail. We have a savior that went through every, has, 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 has every, everything that, that we, we come up against in life. He's already been through. And the good thing about it is, not, not, not like the first item. Yeah, the first item. He, he was perfect, but he missed the mark. Because what he did, he, he, he sinned. But it said now, the, the Savior we have now, he, he was tempted. He, 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 every, time, every, every situation we find ourselves in, sometimes we, we give the devil too much credit. We will say the devil made me do it, but what what has happened? I got out of the I got out of the right I got out of place and mm -hmm. where I should be, mm -hmm. and then because I because I don't claim God's promises that He's promised me that that I that I will not accept what He told me to do, because it tells us right now He said now come unto Him now He said now who He predestined in other words if God has given all of us a job right. God has given us a purpose on life. That we, that we have a job to do while we on. We said, now all a preacher's supposed to do is preach. I had a question. The question came back. What, what, what have I done to uplift Christ? That's the question for you now. Mm -hmm. well, let me ask you one more time. If, what, what, if you ask you, what have I done to uplift Christ? What, 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 what efforts have I made? What, what sacrifices have I made? God made the ultimate sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And uh, he gave all. But what have I done? To make Christ legible. Yeah. The legible mean understand, right? That what legible mean. Understand. So make that people will understand Christ and that He's able to handle everything. Yeah. yeah. That 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 so that it says now what what should separate us from? If God done gave His Son, done give us, done give us, done give us all that that He had, that made it, you know, made it possible for the for us to be able to to, to come to God. You know, we, we don't have to, you know, we don't have to wait and, and go to the go to the tabernacle. We we can come to God now anytime, anytime that that, that we that we need to. And you know, can I tell you this? So see, can I tell you this? We need to every day. All right. Every day. Uh -huh. Because it, I keep bringing this up, but because you look at things and, 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 you, and you wonder, you, years go by and you wonder, how in the world did they conceive to do stuff like this? How, how in the world could they, they, even, they even imagine to? To, 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 to line up and say that I'm, that I'm God-fearing and, and, and I'm going totally left field. That, 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 that you can't find nothing in the Bible that lines up with that and you tell me that you are Christ-fearing. Well, I know you said I've got my way. But can I tell you this? When the first thought it says, lean not to your own understanding. But in all your ways, acknowledge him. And what will he do? Direct your path. And you know the good thing about him directing our path? When he directs our path, we're going to be right. No, it's, it's not, it's, it's not, because because God, God, you know, as I said earlier, God sees, yes, you know, where I can see. And I keep trying to tell myself, y'all probably need to hear this. Now, I need to be in the Word because what happens is when, when I'm in the Word, that means God has a chance to talk to me. And, and when God talks to me, God gives me 
Good instruction. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you something? When you're in the Word, God talks to you. Yes. And God gives you good instruction. Good instructions. Right. Now, and what Satan wants us to do, he, he wants to build, he wants to tear the bridges down mm -hmm. so we can't cross over. And, and when we tear the bridges down, we can't cross over because, because Satan wants to separate. He wanted to buy. Uh -huh. it, and, and, but but God, God has, 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 has made it possible for us to come together. All right. no, no matter what, 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 what's going on, God has made it possible for us to, to be one. Mm -hmm. Because it says we come, we're, we're, we're many. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Parts of the body. You know, we just ain't got one finger, right? Mm -hmm. We got four, we got ten of them. Well, yeah. Eight of them, right? <laughs> Ten tongues. Is that Is that count? Right. Yeah. Eight. 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 But, but don't, don't we? But do we use them? Have God made it, given us a, the, the mindset to keep us going? If you look and say now, Psalm said now, David said I was almost slipped. But I saw. Mm -hmm. As I go to, if you look, you'll find that Psalms 37, around about th no, 73, around about 23. And you'll find these words. I'll let y'all look at it because make sure my. 37, 30, 73, and 23. Did I get it right this time? 73, 23. 23. Where are you? What is, I'll let y'all read, and I'll, I'll take 25. What, is, what does it say? 23 says, Nevertheless, I am continually with thee. Thou hast hold me by my hand. Tell us to with me. So that, that. Now, the good thing about God holding you by your hand, you know what the good thing about that is? You know, remember the rough side of the mountain? Mm -hmm. Like, if you were on the rough side of the mountain, and God's going up the mountain with you, you know what the good thing about that is? Although I catch up to God's hand, mm -hmm. God holds my hand. Yeah, hold hand. Yeah. And, and God does not let go. Mm -hmm. Okay. 25. Now, we know that God is able. We know the word says now, David said, I've been young, and now I'm old. And I've never seen the righteous begging bread, nor seen Nothing right to say, nor see begging bread. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what we have to keep in mind. That, that we have God on our side. Mm -hmm. No matter what's going on in our lifestyle. Amen. That we can reach back and, and we, can, we can keep on going. Mm -hmm. yes. Because God has committed his trust right. to us. God has seen that we need Jesus. And he took and made him one day. All right. Allowed him to lay in a little old bitty trough. Uh huh. In a city called Bethlehem. All right. Not only that, but they tell me about the age of 12. Uh huh. And he was in the temple. Teaching the doctors in the law. Uh -huh. They tell me that after that he went back and stayed in his father's house. Stayed around there until about the age of 33. Uh -huh. They tell me after that he picked up 12 boys. Yeah. You don't mind if I say boys, fellas. All right. And then they tell me he's tapping around here about 33, about 30. Three and a half years. All right. 
And they tell me one Thursday, yeah, in the garden, that they arrested him, and then they marched him from courtroom to courtroom. All right. And they tell me Friday morning. It's Friday morning. Uh huh. Sometimes we call it Good Friday. Well. They tell me they laid a cross on his back. Uh huh. And let him walk up. Go up the hill. They tell me after they got him up on the hill. Uh huh. They tell him they stretched him wide. All right. And they nailed him to the cross. Uh huh. Yeah, they tell me after they got him on the cross, they uh -huh. took him. They took the cross, the same wood that he spoke in existence. All right. And they dropped it in the heart of the earth. Uh huh. And they tell me after that. They tell me the moon dropped down in blood. Uh -huh. They tell me the sun refused to shine. All right. They tell me the sincerity of soldiers. Surely, uh -huh. surely, surely, this must be the Son of Man. All right. I don't know about you, but I feel like I'm, I'm in the right place when I'm in Jesus' right. presence. And that's what it's about. Jesus made uh -huh. it possible. One Friday evening when he hung his head in locks of his shoulder. Yes, sir. And he died. Uh -huh. He died. Yeah, he died, church. Right. Yeah, they tell me he died. Uh -huh. And after he died, they tell me they laid him in a bar tomb. All right. And after they laid him in a bar tomb, they said, three days later, yeah. three days later, he got up. Yeah. He got up. Uh -huh. He got up, church. Yes, sir. And he said, all oh, power. Oh, power. Heaven and earth is in my hand. Yeah. And I don't know about you, but that's what makes me glad about Jesus. Uh -huh. When he got up, he didn't leave part there and part, but he got up with all power. Heaven and earth is in my hand. And I don't know about you, but I'm glad because he, after he stayed around here a few days, he caught a cloud and went on back to heaven. All right. But he made him a promise when he went on back. Right. He said, I'll be back. Right. One first thing, I'm going to send you a comforter. Yes. In other words, he's going to send the Holy Ghost right. that lives down in my soul. Yes. He's going to send me a comforter right. that will whip baby when I go through trails and travel and what rocks and reels, right. that I got somebody's name to hold me, right. to rock me. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, oh, yeah. Yes. Jesus. My way maker. Yes, Jesus. Jesus. My rock yes. in a weary land. Yes. Jesus. My water yes. when I'm thirsty. Yes. Jesus. My bread when I'm hungry. Yes. I don't know about you, but I love to call his name. Yes, I love to call his name because yes. every now and then, Feel him in my soul. Yes, Want to know how you know you slept safe. Right. I, I can feel it deep down in my soul. Right. I know him. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. But he says he's going back. Yes, and there, if you look at text, it says he's sitting at the right hand uh -huh. of the Father. All right. And it's, as David said, yeah, that I almost. My foot almost slipped. But when I went into the sanctuary uh -huh. and I saw what was going to be the end of the unsaved, uh -huh. I realized a day with God is better than a thousand in the house of the sinners. All right. So I don't know about you, but I'm glad that I'm going to be in the right place. Can I tell you why? Because I'm going to be in the right place because Jesus made me a promise. All right. He said, believe in your heart. Yes. Confess with your mouth. Yes. Thou shalt be yes. saved. Yes. And then he made, he, to God, he said, now, Father, mm -hmm. all that you've given me, none will Satan be able to take out of my hand. Jesus is on his way back, church. The question was asked, how, how, when, when we, disciples got in the question with him, when will we know? They want to know, how, how can we tell that he's coming back? He said, there'll be wars, rumors of wars. 
there'll be man will decide he don't want to hear the true gospel. Uh -huh. He won't be just tingling and things that make him feel good. It says now, man will become lovers of themselves. That they that they'll be that they, they they won't care. Can, can you look around? Can you see that's what's happening now? Uh -huh. Remember, Peter said, "We're in the last day." Yes. Now it, it, it could be, you know, it, it could be two thousand years before he comes back, but he, but he's coming. Yes. Mm -hmm. And and it must have been Sunday school lesson. It might have been a Bible study, one other. But the the question was reassured. Oh, I got time this morning. I can still smell the bacon. Y'all, I got a few minutes this morning. Bacon. Is y'all here frying yet? I smelt it when I came through the door. That might be the reason I came down that way. I smelt the bacon. So I got a few minutes. I might not put the time. Yeah. Tell. So, but let me go back to what I'm. But the thing about it is, God has made things right for us. What do you mean? We was, David said, then I go back to the one I was trying to remember. David said that we have a shepherd and not only that, but we have grace and mercy following us. How long? All days of our lives. All days of our lives. And, and, and you know what a shepherd does, right? Take care of sheep. Tell the flock. Tell the flock. I heard it out there. And you know, and you, you know about sheep, right? Right. Yeah, I do know about sheep. Well, can I say this? I know y'all, I'm, I'm talking about something. Sheep is not the smartest animal in, in the world. Y'all yeah, do know that, right? Amen. Except we, the words that we all are like sheep. You know? So, and, 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 the, and, the, and the, it, the, I still got time. Y'all looking at me funny, but I got a few minutes here. But I want, because listen, and that's why God has put it in the Word, because he said, now, we got a shepherd, and a shepherd's job is to take care of the sheep. You know, if a sheep is on the hilltop, mm -hmm. grazing, mm -hmm. and, 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 and there's a fall, he'll keep grazing until he fall off the cliff. Never look up. Just keep grazing. Now, if a sheep, if 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 a sheep, if you got the water sheep, it said now, he, he, the, yeah, we Psalm twenty three said, he lead us by the still water. Why do you think still water? Can I tell you why? Because if a sheep get close to rushing water, it will drown. Because what happened is, if it try to drink there, the I know y'all. Some of y'all get dizzy sometimes. Just, just you know, you stand up. Uh, yeah, maybe y'all do that. But you squat down, and you stand up, and your blood. I think that's what happens. Blood goes over your head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get up too fast. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, but what I'm saying, Jesus has made it possible for us to enjoy salvation. Amen. Now. And, and to go back to the sheep, but what, what I'm saying is, God knew when he said, because the sheep, we, we want to say shepherd, we're talking about Jesus, the, the ultimate shepherd, the one that, that made it possible for us to enjoy our salvation, now, not, not, not the earthly shepherds, because these earthly shepherds, you know, we got the same problem that everybody else got. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, y'all yeah, know what I said. They, he put his pants on the same as I do. Yeah, and I do. And they, they, they got, but let me. Okay, all right. 
But let, let me get back to my point. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll. But being in the right place at the right time. Right time. And, and, and what you, that means that you need to be studying the Word of God. Amen. Day. First thing you should get up, the first thing you should do when you get up in the morning thank is thank God. Amen. Bet you another day. Amen. Then you need to get some word Amen. to help you survive the folks that you're going to deal with that day. Amen. Yeah. And then when you then, then you need to get a prayer to make sure you get it chased. You know, yeah, remember chasing it, right? I know some guy. <laughs> right? No. You, you, you chase it. Yeah. You, you, you drink a little bit and you chase it. Mm -hmm. See, that's what, that's what the, 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 you get the word and you chase it with prayer. All right. And you know what that does? That makes it go down smooth. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Sometimes we do some stuff in the word we don't want to hear. All right. But we chase it with prayer. All right. And then that makes it go down smooth. 